We'll get Kevin on this thing, and if it breaks, then it's not strong enough. Yes, I'm more expecting catastrophic failure than a gradual <laughs> failure. The zip line uses a strong metal cable that attaches between two points above the ground. Once you're hooked in, you can fly across the yard, just like your favorite superhero. That thing's a death trap. I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to Brojax. <laughs> Time to hit the skies at the zip line or what? Zipping from building to building. Off the deck here, down to the bunkhouse. Down to that birch there. You think mom and dad would be upset if we knocked Hold the cottage off its foundation? <laughs> to make a zip line? No, they'd understand. Let's go up and have a look. So this is quarter inch aircraft cable. This is plenty strong, I think. A pulley. Cable will run through there, and we have to build a, a handle of some sort. We're probably going to get a sag in the middle, and that might stop us. You're used to sagging in the middle, oh, aren't you? To, uh... There? Yep. I'm not really worried about it so much ripping out of the tree as this thing just breaking. More? I thought we were going to smash into the tree. I'm glad that didn't happen. Ready for your bird, buddy? I am. Send her down. Well, when the ladies first asked us to make a playground, I thought we were probably going to be doing something a little bit more traditional. Thanks. I need one of those everywhere in my house. <laughs> I don't think many people have a zip line in their backyard. No. The kids could be up there sending us burgers and beer. <laughs> That's the way it should be. Let's put those seats on it. Do you know what I think? The teeter-totter is going to work a lot better with the seats. 